Okay. I hope everyone had a good dinner I had. Um, thanks uh, ladies and gentlemen to be here. I'm here today to talk about a technology, a new technological platform that we have developed that can allow us to localize or the word locate objects um, within meter level accuracy and it can orientate information of certain objects and individuals such that if I am in front of you, on your phone it says I am in front of you. So in this technology we have actually achieved um, quite a wow, amazing way where there is no need for triangulation. Um, so there is no need for infrastructure. There's no need for the use to use um, GPS, Wi-Fi, cell ID, uh, information. So this, this technology, we created it to be such that it's peer-to-peer, -peer. there's no need for infrastructure set up, um, and it doesn't need to go through any mobile networks and third-party devices. The idea is that we want to leverage on what we all already have today, which is your mobile device. So it is something where you can you know, stick it on behind your mobile phone, or you can wear it as a badge. This technology can easily help you, you know, for those of you who might have uh, young kids at home, uh, toddlers running around, um, to find kids easily when you are in a crowded shopping mall, uh, be it maybe they're playing behind uh, many racks of uh, clothes shelves, etc. And we can also allow you to network today in this event here. I, I know most of us are curious about, you know, where is this person from and, and you know, what interests we might have in common. Um, so, so the idea is that we like to bring uh, information into our physical world and allow us to know more about each other and find common things to talk about. So another idea we actually have also, which uh, we are working with the the um, military, is in a way that you can locate a soldier, fellow soldier in a urban warfare situation easily from indoors to outdoors, or even if like uh, you know there's a fireman teammate who probably had uh, fallen or injured in a fire scene inside the building where uh, traditionally you cannot locate the team uh, made. So it's also a technology that can easily allow you to you know, go to a remote area where there is no working communication, you know, GPS or any sort of technology or communication infrastructure to allow you to locate, hey, where are your teammates? Or is my supplies coming you know, via a helicopter, etc.? So it's really to let you know exactly where are things, you know, where are people around you. The, the idea is that we do not just want to benefit um, you know, the, the main you know, people who have money, for example. It is important for us that we want to take care of the disadvantaged people, for example, the visually impaired, um, so that with this information that is available in the physical environment, they can now know who is in this place, uh, what is in this place, and for example, you can also use this to locate emergency uh, equipment in, in terms of distress situations. So currently what I've talked about um, are really a few examples that are focused on you know, tracking of certain objects or people. Um, we actually have a, a more interesting passion actually but let me just show you that today's technology world, if you want to locate someone or a certain object, this is the kind of process that you know, GPS goes through, which is the most common technology used now. Um, it is quite a complicated process. There's a lot of uh, infrastructure needed to set up, and thus the operations are usually associated with high cost. Um, so you, you see that on the top part, the GPS part is still not ending, right, the animation? 
it is the typical process. When you switch on your you know, GPS application, it takes forever to load up, to track your location, etc. Um, it is something that we have been trying to overcome and, and hopefully because our technology has no such infrastructure, then you get real-time information. So um, the idea is clear, it's really slow and uh, finally the location is being found. The, the passion behind what we are doing is really not just tracking an asset, um, you know, finding a child. Uh, really, we are more interested well beyond that. The idea is that we, the goal is we want to bring all this information that we have currently <coughs> online um, into our physical life. Um, that can mean, for example, why is it that you can Google anything now? Anything, anyone on the web. But can I Google you in real life? Can I find out who you are? Can I get, find out uh, who this nice lady is and who this cute guy is? Um, so the idea is that we're trying to bring information into our real life so that now, hey, information is, is going to be shared at a more widespread and environment where it is most immediately needed to you. With this, we, we hope that we can answer, we can find a mechanism to answer the question of who is around me? Um, what is around me? What do we have in common? You know, where is the nearest Starbucks? Where is the nearest restroom? Or the location of my car keys? Uh, with this mechanism, we, we hope that everyone now can spend you know, more time finding relevance uh, talking to people that you have something in common with and breaking the ice. Uh, today I really like this tag here because it tells you what, what your interest is. But I was a little bit embarrassed when I have to peek into that person's uh, tag and you know to see that, you know. So this, this is an improvement but we hope that it will be more easily available. Um, so you can make your own choices uh, to discuss, you know, to, to discuss with people uh, with things that you are interested in. So the other goal that we have is, is a little bit less obvious and something that we really believe in is that uh, you know, using our commercial work to also help the disadvantaged groups. So we have been uh, working with you know, the visually impaired associations to, to help them, you know, to help the members to easily say, cross the street unassisted to give them a new level of independence that was never ever before available. And we are really uh, very excited with this kind of work. Uh, so from an, in, uh, from an information standpoint, if you talk to a visually impaired person or if you, have, you know someone, uh, they would tell you this environment has no information. To them, they just hear noises. Um, uh, to us, we may take it for, for granted, but here this is something that we're trying to solve for actually us, sighted people. And it's kind of interesting that with the economies of scale that we are developing for the sighted people, we can also bring it to the visually impaired groups. Um, we have actually come a long, long way to reach this point. We, it all really started with a dream, uh, you know, a dream to communicate and uh, a dream to really bring humanity closer to each other. So we, this idea led to this proof of concept, which is, uh, I'm not too <coughs> sure if you can understand, it's you know, a few buttons and a big phone. Um, we, we started this in about 2006 and, and this is where we were in 2007, where it is a reuse, a creative reuse of a VCR cover, a box, and some black tapes, and you can see everything else is a mess. Um, so in 2008, which is last year, we, we managed to you know put everything in, integrated onto a board, and you can really see the smiles in the in the team. Uh, 
some of these things are really um, very invaluable and precious and every time when I, when, I, when I talk about these things, I hope I don't go too deep into the words because um, I myself, you know, it becomes a tear joker for myself. So, um, this is really the first um, integrated board with my uh, CEO, which is about 8x8cm, 8 8 which was really still considered very big for what we want to do. It, it is really a technology that we envision that it can be used anywhere in the world, um, across all social economic levels, and across all physical abilities. So, if you are you know, not so well off, uh, even if you're rich, or some of you might be technology gurus, you can use it, you know, you can use any piece of new technology easily. Or if some of us here could be a little bit more technically uh, challenged, um, we hope that this is a device that you can use for whatever you want to do, to, to track a child, to, you know, to help uh, an elderly dementia person you know, move a little bit more to increase the freedom of uh, uh, you know, movement in the community. So, at this stage, 2009, we were like, wow, this is still pretty big. Um, but we, we managed to bring it down further. So we had our Pixie Engine 1.2. Uh, from, from the start where it was a box, right, it, it really had the humble beginnings, which we now call uh, the Pixie Engine, is currently this size right now, 5.4, uh, as in about 5 by 4 cm. And the idea is that we, our, our interest is such that we want to bring the virtual world of information, layer that into our environment, you know, such that, say if I walk into the room, there's, there's some words <laughs> appearing on top of me, like minority report. Um, such that we can now really easily talk to each other. And, and from this, we, we will derive the concept of, of, some of you might know, Internet of Things, where it is, uh, you know, where you, you just have information easily available uh, and that you can put on this information from the Internet and bring it to the world today. We, from these humble beginnings in 2006, we currently uh, are deploying our pilot programs uh, within our, you know, with the universities and, and international colleges to, to bring this to the rest of the world. Uh, we have a project currently working with the elderly group to actually you know, give, let them have the independence and freedom to create a self-support network and such that they can start moving around in the community, they can you know, do exercises together. Yeah. And, and from this software development kit platform, uh, more users can create their own applications that we could not have imagined before. Um, the idea really is um, one of the nuggets that if you should take away from this presentation, is to understand that we are witnessing a whole new wave of innovation upon us. And it, it might seem far reaching at, at first, uh, but really it is achievable with examples such as innovations <coughs> with email and the web, where we have seen how information access has grown at such logarithmic uh, scale. And consider that with every evolutionary innovative step that you take, um, there will be wondrous opportunities for us to create new innovation, new applications, you know, be it commercial or for social users. And really, we, we look forward to, to having uh, you know, our company play a big role in, in that. So, Something? So we, we hope to um, really bring awareness where there was once unfamiliarity and we hope to bring light to darkness where the visually impaired use 
to suffer. Um, we, we just really hope that y you can understand, you know, where we are coming from, and and that this technology just it was quite impacting for all of us to see uh, from the time when it was like a big basket box into this device that we have uh, currently. Um, I'm not trying to do a sales pitch, so the case uses I'm, I'm doing today is uh, much lesser. And uh, we're trying to get everyone who's interested in, in building new ideas and trying to bring more information into this world, this physical world, you know, bringing everyone together as one. So as we say, we're trying to really fold virtual information into our physical world and make it into one world where the revolution of internet now will be integrated into our physical environment. So I'll spend the next few minutes to go through our prototype uh, demo. I need to use this visualizer here. Okay, um, what he is showing is that um, Alex here, he is carrying this device in the middle, as you can see. And, um, okay, so it's, it's a little, little bit hard because it has to be from the user's point of view. So imagine if you have the device, you would always be in the middle of the sphere. And that... Alex here with the device, he is actually trying to track the baby and uh, this you can imagine that a tag is embedded into this teddy bear <laughs> where the baby is carrying. So with this device, um, you can see the exact direction and the, the, the distance of this device and as he turn, it will actually be it's a little bit hard to Okay, yeah. yeah. So, so as you, the idea is that um, as you turn, the things move with you in the direction that you should be and that you can check out information from there. So for example, okay, imagine he's not a baby, right? <laughs> he has his social networks. The idea now is you can have a quick understanding of uh, your interests, uh, such as if the person likes, you know, basketball, as it sure you'll be shown on his uh, profile. And if you want a full view, you can actually look at the information in real time, what they're interested in, where they come from, you know, which companies do they belong to. And you can actually add them as friends. You can uh, chat with them, send them a nudge message, and you can also, for example, is it clear now? No. He is, he is a YouTube member. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably his dad signed sign him up on one of the social networks, Facebook or LinkedIn, or some cartoon network uh, information. And, and... Can you do a simulation? So what we are trying to do now is uh, let's simulate more people around us. Uh, that one was live, but now we're trying to simulate the rest of the people around us. Um, okay, we... So we can increase the range, right? This device works within 50 meters indoors and 200 meters outdoors. And you can start seeing more people around you. So if you are interested in checking out my profile, uh, you can, you know, also see where are, you know, my social <coughs> networks. You can actually easily exchange name card information, yeah, and, and add me easily into your social network. Yeah. 
so this is really not the end of it. Um, we we have like parameter alerts where you can set a certain zone when the child get out of say 10 meter zone, blast the parents, or when the elderly dementia person get out of uh, a certain uh, care center, you know, it, it will start buzzing people. And so this is the idea that we're trying to um, really put into fruition the last, I would say, three years. And we have, uh, it, it was really a long road. And we, we're just pretty excited at what we're doing right now. And um, end of this year, we're trying to do uh, pilot deployments. And we, we hope that by next year, you know, we can bring this to market. It was, it was really a long road for technology innovators like us who who now wants to also build our own devices, you know, and distribute out into the the world. Yeah. Um, so I will really end you uh, end this to let you think about the possibility of what would happen if you bring all this mess of internet information into our real life. Um, it was really exciting. I mean, it is very exciting to to Google things, you know, to to find out what are all these information out there about uh, in the web and I really hope that hey if we were to able you know to bring it into our social environment or physical environment what would happen you know so this is really witnessing this whole new world of information and I'd like everyone to think about it thanks <laughs>